Hi guys, how are you? Hope you are doing good. Welcome back to the channel Agriculture Make Strong. Today I came with the topic insect pest of the chili. What are the insect pest of the chili? And we will be discussing about symptoms and management of the thrips, mites, aphids, cutworms and caterpillars which are the major problem in the chili crop. Let us discuss about the insect pest. Let's go into the video. Before going to the video, if you want to refer the video PPT, the link is in the description box. You can refer it. And let us discuss about the chili insect pest. What are the important chili insect pests which are destroying the crop and uh, reducing the profit of the crop? First one is like chili thrips. Second is green peach aphids, tobacco cutworms, green caterpillars, yellow mites. These are the major pests which are uh, in the chili crop, uh, which are making the major damage to the crop. Uh, so let us discuss about this pest. Coming to the first most important insect pest of the chili is chili thrips. And let us discuss about the symptoms and management of the uh, chili thrips, uh, thrips which are in the chili crop. And uh, there will be a, a symptom like the major symptom is crinkles and the upward curling of the leaf. And there will be a petiole elongation. And uh, if you see about the buds, uh, buds will be brittle and drop down. And stunted growth in the crop will be seen. And fruits sets also stops if the thrips are attacked the fruit growth also fruit set will be stopped if the thrips are more in the crop and coming to the management how to manage the thrips is like uh, we should follow the integrated approach like to with the uh, preventive measures and the biological treatment and coming to the uh, management another important point is intercrop with the agati and uh, do not grow chili crop after the sorghum and treat the seeds with immunocorrhizal Chloprate 70% wettable sulfur 12, 12 grams per kg of the seed. Here is the uh, neem stage uh, which is small and linear. Uh, you can see the frazzle abdomen with the straw yellow color. And uh, if you notice the adults, it will be having the fringe wings. Uh, these are the identifications of the pest. Uh, what are the thrips? Uh, if you observe the thrips, this management practices should be followed in the crop. And some of the another uh, treatment like uh, not only the immunocloprid, you can also apply the carbofuran at the 3% grams at uh, 33 kg per hectare or 4 at 10% at uh, 10 kg per hectare. If you, if you want to follow the treatment, you, you should follow imidacloprid or, uh, or the uh, carbofuran. Coming to the next insect pest that is green peach aphid. Let us see some of the symptoms of the green peach aphid. Aphids are uh, major in the crop uh, in any crops. Uh, it will damage the crop and uh, these are the some of the pictures which are showing the uh, symptoms how the aphids is affecting the crop and these are the adults and the nymphs so, uh, how the aphids are appearing in the crop and let us see the symptoms will be like it will be having the pale and sticky appearance and the leaves will be crinkling and curled and if you see the crop uh, there will be a stunted growth and the honeydew excrete development of sooty mold will be seen in the plants of the chili and uh, the management for this uh, aphids is like uh, for applying uh, for it 10 percent at uh, 10 kg per hectare and the seeds are treated with the imidacloprid 70% wettable sulfur at 12 grams per kg of the seed apply any one of the above and the identification of the pest will be like in the nymph stage they are initially greenish but soon they will turn to yellowish color so this is the identification of the pest and in the adult stage it will be in the yellowish green in color of the chili uh, green peach aphid which is affecting the chili crop coming to the tobacco cutworm how the symptoms are showing uh, tobacco cutworm uh, how it is affecting the crop and these are some of the management practices and these are the pictures you can see how the uh, larva and uh, how it is uh, affecting the uh, leaf and how it is making the loss to the crop and these are the pupa adult and there will be some of the symptoms 
now you can observe that the symptoms of the tobacco cutworm or like the larvas which are newly hatched will be scrapping the leaves and uh, it will look like a papery white structure of the leaf it looks like a paper structure and instar larva feed on the small holes after what uh, the severe infestation of the tobacco cutworm is like uh, you will observe they will feed voraciously on the lamina on the petiole this is the major symptom of the tobacco cutworm and the management practice is like you can follow the caster as a trap cop and pheromone traps you can use and collect and destroy egg mosses and the gregarious larva and grown up caterpillars you can destroy them and the um, a spray SINPV at uh, 1.5 into 1012 POB per hectare is in evening hours and spray any one of them and if you want to follow any management you should follow any one of them for the control of the tobacco cutworm and the identification of the pest of the tobacco cutworm will be like uh, the X or uh, golden yellow and they are uh, covered by the silky hairs and the coming to the larva larva or uh, light green with black head or black spots coming to the adults this is the structure of the tobacco cutworm how it appears in the uh, structure and uh, the, they are brown in color and fore wings are brown color with wavy white markings hind wings are white <clears throat> color with a brown patch along the margin this are uh, this is about the tobacco cutworm and let coming to the green caterpillar some of the symptoms and management practices for the green caterpillar here are some of the pictures which are showing how they are affecting the crop and the fruit and uh, these are the adults of the ca green caterpillar and uh, the larva how it is affecting you can observe here the larva is affecting the uh, fruit and the early install uh, feeds on the foliage foliage here you can see that it is uh, feeding on the foliage and uh, the grown larva which is boring into the fruits here you can see how it is boring into the fruits of the chili and some of the management practices like uh, you can destroy collect and destroy the infected fruits and the grown up larva so that you can you can uh, decrease the loss of the fruits or any foliage which in the crop and uh, coming to the uh, pheromone traps you can set up the pheromone traps like helilure at 15 per hectare it will be useful for the management control and uh, you can also spray the carboryl at 50 wettable sulfur 2 grams per liter or uh, bacillus 3 engines 2 grams per liter and uh, produce a poison ball with carboryl 1.2 kg rice bran at 1 uh, 12.5 kg jaggery at 1.25 kg and water at 7.5 liters per hectare or spray any one of the following insects and uh, you should follow any one of them and uh, these are the adults uh, the identification of the pest of the green caterpillar will be like uh, in the x x stage they will be creamy white in color in that stage uh, if you observe you should destroy them and uh, coming to the next stage that is larva stage it shows the greenish brown greenish to brown in color and greenish to brown in color and pupa stage it turns brown to brown in color and uh, occurs in the soil leaf pots and the crop debris coming to the adult stage the female is brownish yellow here you can see that it is very brownish yellow color and a slot moth and a male is light greenish in color with V shaped markings these are the uh, uh, some of the characters of the identification of the pest of the green caterpillar and the chili crop coming to the next one that is yellow mite uh, some symptoms and uh, some of the management control practices for the yellow mite and these are the pictures you can see that uh, the uh, crop of uh, which is affected by yellow mite uh, will be like this and uh, if you see the symptoms it will be like crinkling and the curling downwards 
uh, in the trips it will be curling, uh, curling upwards here you can see the mites which are uh, affected the crop means it will be crinkling of the leaves downwards and elongated petiole on the leaves will be seen standard growth will be seen and the management practices for the yellow mite will be uh, follow the pre uh, predatory mite like amlesis ovalis and apply for it at 10 percent we at uh, 10 kg per hectare and the identification of the pests will be like in the egg stage they will be like oval shaped and white in color in the egg, egg stage and coming to the nymph stage the nymph stage of the yellow mite will be white in color and adult stage the large and oval and they are in yellowish color these are the uh, symptoms managements and uh, uh, some of the pictures which are important for the chili crops which are insect pests which are majorly destroying the crop so some of the management practices should be done for the crop if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel